got the first round of filleting in and then I'll let that cure and tomorrow I'll come out and do some preliminary shaping and some rough sanding and then uh, I'll make a determination at that time whether or not I think I have enough fillet material in there. I probably do uh, but I may put on another coat just to uh, give it a little bit more depth uh, which I would like to have a little you know, a little more depth so the shoulders can go up in either direction a little bit more. Uh, basically, I wanted to get in the voids in there that the gel magic didn't fill up and then any spots that weren't form-fitting to the hull that they're nice and full of uh, easy fill and they'll cure out so then I can come back and give it a preliminary shaping sanding and then maybe put on another layer and then shape it and then uh, lay some uh, probably a layer of glass tape on it and then I think I got some six ounce cloth left, a lot of six ounce cloth left over. I'm going to see if I can drape it and form it around so I don't have any seams in it and then I'll do the blue tape around the edges for a trim line. And then we can go ahead and fill the weave on the rest of the boat. Well, I got some preliminary sanding done and uh, with, the, you know, with a regular sander but then I use uh, various wraps to train it up but then I'll take a piece of uh, I guess this must be about three quarter inch PVC pipe or ABS pipe. Wrap sandpaper around it and that gives you a good radius for the uh, popsicle stick radius I was using. But another thing I've been using is uh, the edges of the plot of the uh, sandpaper from the machine here are always brand new. So I'll take a piece of plastic tubing and cut it in half and then that will put the, uh, yeah, the right side out onto the uh, edge after I shaped it a little bit with my little low angle plane in the raft. And then you can come along with that sandpaper and get you a nice round edge for them. I'm going to roll some fiberglass over this. And then that will make a ni much nicer edge and then a nice radius to it at the same time. So let me go ahead and get that and we'll come back later after I get the glass on. I know you're saying, that man must be crazy. He's going to form that fiberglass over that, uh, that skate. Yes, he is. This is just the first rub out. The thing you have to worry about now is uh, pressure ridges. coming down to look on it. use your fingernail like we said before to rub them down. I've ran the uh, piece of blue tape along the outside edge of the three inch tape that ran along the seam. That will give me a nice even straight line to cut to and I have a little delta up in here. And then I'll let this set for a day or so. And when you start on something like this, you wet out from the middle and make, be certain that you take all the excess. I'll come along a couple of days and uh, just come down, push down and out and get down into the radius. Got a couple of clamps here to kind of preliminary hold it in place while I cut the glass. Still a little bit of poochiness in here that I've got. I'll have to walk out. But it'll take take on the set here. Pretty good set overnight. Later this winter when I get done building boats or I'm in the middle of a transition between this one and the next one, uh, we'll have some fun forming up uh, uh, fiberglass into different shapes. There's some things I want to make that uh, will be fun. We'll come back after this sets and I wet it out. It's been sitting here for about oh, three days and I've been coming on and, and patting it. But one thing that I do know and I want to tell you that when it, even though I've rounded the edges on the uh, the stack of one or quarter inch ply to make one inch, 
round it over so it'll fold nice, you're always going to have some poofiness on this flat area here. I could have got around that if I would have made it into an arch. I could have either put in some more uh, easy fillet and made a round uh, hump or else uh, taken the wood down farther. Uh, but I want, I'm still debating whether or not to put a, some sort of metal rock, uh, flat bar across the bottom to screw on. And if I do that, then I want it flat. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come through just on the center part and wet it down and I'll come back in a few minutes after it's, well, maybe 15, 20 minutes after it's greened out quite a bit and finish up down the sides. But I want this to be stuck in place and flat before I start working on the sides. Okay, I've got it. the center wetted out and then a little bit on the ends. Uh, I'm going to walk away from it now and then uh, let it go green. i got a little bit left in the cup. I'll butter up a couple pieces for another clamp, which I'm going to have a little issue coming up with on how to make clamps here in the next two or three episodes. So uh, We'll come back when this is greened out and it's nice and stuck in place and when I'm fooling around with the brush on the side, it's not going to mess this up and make it poof up and then be a hollow underneath. I want that adhered tight to the, uh, to the wood. Okay, it's about an hour later and this has gone green on me, so now I don't feel so bad about coming back and wetting out the sides. Start at the very top, work your way down. Be gentle. Cutting the uh, glass after it's cured is about the same as green. It's a little, a little harder. It still comes up. We'll do a little flyby here so you can see that the glass is wetted out solidly. And there aren't any little light spots that show that it, it lifted anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and sand this out, fare, fare that in, and we'll be done. And I've got it fared in just now. So now I can go ahead and sand it tomorrow. And then we'll start on the weave fill. I've just finished sanding out the hull um, where I had put in the uh, fairing compound yesterday around the edge of the, uh, we cut off the uh, tape and the glass for over the keel strip here. So this is all fared in now. I've gone over the whole hole with a couple pieces of sandpaper uh, to smooth down the hole because it's been over 72 hours since we uh, last wet it out the glass. I forgot to mention that I, uh, you have to wipe it down too, so I'm going to wipe the hole down now a couple times and get all the dust off. Thank you.